The monstrous skull of T-Rex in particular seemed designed for killing. Engineered to be strong, it was also light. Large holes in the skull reduced its weight. But the bone structure was strongest in the jaw to withstand the awesome force of the muscles that could crush the bones of any animal. This is a, a jaw of a real Tyrannosaurus rex. You can see one of these huge teeth in place in the jaw and another tooth lying on the side of the jaw here. You can look at this long root and how it's anchored into the jaw. This was a killing machine. This was a machine which could bite through even the leg bone of another Tyrannosaurus rex. Jack Horner is not convinced. Whether it hunted or scavenged, T-Rex would have needed its steak knife teeth and enormous jaws for cutting the huge quantities of meat it consumed into smaller chunks. But Horner's argument pivots on another part of T-Rex's anatomy. It's tiny arms that have puzzled paleontologists for decades. 